Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Tuesday, March the 24th, and um, I was speaking with some of my family and friends, and it has come to my attention that people want a little bit more information about what's actually happening. So uh, here it is. I'll post some graphs and some, some more information on the website today with some, some helpful links. But uh, the, the numbers are spiking at a, a very steep rate. And right now in the United States, I think the number is somewhere around 500 deaths. You'll check the graphic on the website. It'll show you exactly. But we've got about 50,000 infected. So we're doing a pretty good job of controlling the, uh, the infection, getting people well, getting them out of the hospital. But there is a, a delay in the time from which people are exposed to the time that they get sick. So we're expecting to see more hospitalizations this week and the next. And we're expecting uh, that our contingency plans will, will need to start to be implemented as far as increasing beds and, and doing things to uh, make sure we have enough room for everybody who needs to be taken care of. And I say we, I, I mean every hospital in New York and, and beyond. But you know, my focus is obviously New York and New Jersey where I practice. And I know that every one of my colleagues and friends in medicine are working hard to do their part uh, remotely via telehealth, but uh, some of us will have to go to the hospital to see patients. And as of next week, we'll have an emergency musculoskeletal medicine clinic uh, that I'll be participating with. Uh, but in the interim, uh, most of everything that we're doing is telemedicine, uh, meaning we get on the phone, we triage, and we figure out what we can do for people at home and whether or not they need higher level care. So. Uh, the same rules apply from the very beginning uh, up until now. I think that the information wars online are getting a little bit more heated. People are going to be bored in their house and they're going to look for conspiracy theories and other ways of, of uh, feeding their impulses and their, their, their curiosity. Again, I'm going to ask that you do your best to find trusted resources. Uh, the media and, and others uh, can sensationalize things. Uh, but the, the people who are really invested in this thing, the doctors, the nurses, uh, healthcare workers of all kinds, uh, including the maintenance workers and, and transport people and, and others you don't think about that show up to work every day, put their mask on and do the best they can to keep us healthy. Every single one of those people appreciates you staying home and, and doing your part by avoiding contact, being socially distant and uh, washing your hands, not touching your face. And then, you know, the other things I've tried to focus on in these talks are, you know, self-care, wellness, um, taking care of yourself in, in, in a home setting, which can get frustrating and difficult, especially for those parents who now are teaching their children at a kitchen table or counter or bedroom or um, some other location that's not perfectly ideal. So be well, be safe, stay away from the sensationalism, know that the numbers are going to continue to increase, but that shouldn't be cause for alarm or panic. We are ready for this. We're going to get through it together and uh, be well, be safe. See you soon.